cool how God allows us to ask questions? He wants us to seek after him and get to know him better. Well, you know, there is so much to even discover. In King's World, every week, we learn more about God by reading the Bible and by asking questions together. God welcomes our questions and he wants us to get to know him more and more. Well, today it is all about determination, even when you have questions. So let's get started. In King's World, we teach how God is our King and we are His children, so we are royalty. So let's come together, let's lift our voices, and let's praise Him together. From urban streets to open plains, we are under one name. No one is lost or goes unseen, cause we're all loved by our King. This is nothing ordinary. morning everyone my name is mr dave and i'm mr mike and, and this, this is, is kw, KW at, at home. home so all month we've been talking about how to get unstuck from a sticky situation how well by trusting god and by maintaining a determination to finish what we started because it's worth it yeah and when you're determined that means you're gonna see things through to the end. Even when it might seem impossible, just remember with God, all things are possible. And by showing that others that you're trusting in God, when you're having a difficult time, they'll see too that with God, all things are possible. So don't have to worry about getting stuck. Let's go to the video. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. 
As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 through 40. Philip, like his friend Stephen, was a Jesus follower. Both men had been chosen to help new believers who needed food or special care. At your service. But after Stephen was killed, the Jewish religious leaders became even more bold in hunting down people who followed Jesus. They were led by a young man named Saul. Go house to house, find these Jesus people and toss them in jail. Many of the new believers left Jerusalem and scattered, but everywhere they went, they shared the story of Jesus. Jesus is God's son. He came to rescue all of us. Philip traveled to a town in Samaria where he told everyone about Jesus and even made sick people well through God's power. I can walk, look, I can dance, <laughs> praise God. Philip and the new believers in the city were filled with joy, but then an angel of the Lord appeared to Philip. Go south to the desert road that leads from Jerusalem to Gaza. Stephen probably had some questions. Wait, what? Everything's going so well here. What good can I do in the desert? Still, Philip set out immediately. He was about to discover that he wasn't the only one with questions. Far to the south, on that very desert road, a man from Ethiopia was speeding along in his chariot, reading from a scroll. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Who's he? He who? The man was a high official in charge of everything owned by the Ethiopian queen. He believed in God and had chosen to become a Jew, even traveling for days to worship God at the temple in Jerusalem. But still, he was filled with questions as he read from scripture. This prophet, Isaiah, I don't understand what he's saying. As Philip hiked along the road, he spotted the Ethiopian official's chariot ahead. God's spirit spoke to Philip. Go to that chariot, stay near it. On my mark, get set. Philip ran until he came alongside the chariot where the official was still absorbed in the words of Isaiah. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. <laughs> Do you understand what you're reading? The official's eyebrows shot up and he nearly dropped the scroll. Stop the chariot! As the chariot slowed, the official peered down at Philip. How can I understand? I need someone to explain it to me. I'm someone. Then come sit up here with me. Thank you. Show me where you're reading. Right here. He was led like a sheep to be killed, just as lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off. He did not open his mouth. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. Who can say anything about his children? His life was cut off from the earth. The official frowned in concentration. Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? He's talking about the one God has sent to rescue all of us. His name is Jesus. As the two men traveled along that hot, dusty road, Philip shared the whole story of Jesus, how Jesus gave his life for each of us and, and was raised to life again. This, this, this is amazing. This changes everything. Ahead, the men could see a few lone palm trees. As they approached, sunlight flared off a clear pool of water. Look, water, what can stop me from being baptized? <laughs> Let's do it. Stop the chariot. Philip and the official climbed down from the chariot, and Philip led the man down into the water. I baptize you in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, praise God. Dripping wet and filled with joy, the two men came up out of the water. Philip, you'd love Ethiopia. You really should. Philip, Philip. Philip had suddenly completely disappeared. In fact, God's spirit had whisked him away. He's gone! Only God could have done that. Let's get a move on. I've got more reading to do. The Ethiopian official went on his way, a changed man, and Philip found himself in the town of Azotus. Um, what just happened? Well, I'm sure there are more people around here who need to hear about Jesus. 
both Philip and the Ethiopian official had continued to be faithful and seek God, even when they couldn't see the whole picture. And the story of Jesus continued to spread. It's a great story, Mike. And eventually, the promises of God through Isaiah, they came true because God sent his son, Jesus, into this world. And even though he was perfect and he was sinless, he was still arrested, he was unfairly put on trial, and he was killed. But Jesus did all of that willingly in his own power. He died and he rose again. And what that did was create the opportunity for Mr. Mike and me and all of you to give our lives to Jesus and to belong to him forever. And that's exactly what Philip did. When he heard the story of Jesus, he accepted him into his heart and he couldn't wait to tell everybody. And the royal official, when he was reading out of the book of Isaiah and didn't understand what was going on, he was determined to figure out what that meant. And there was P Philip. So Philip was able to explain that to him and help him to understand. So here's what we learned from today. Just like the royal official in that story, we encourage all of you to not only spend your time with Jesus alone in the word, but have someone else to talk to about it. Because there's going to be times when Mr. Mike, when Mr. Dave, when you, we don't understand what we're reading. And that's okay. But you want to have that person in your life that you can go to and you can ask them questions about the Bible. That may be grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, parents out there. I encourage you. Use this time to sit with your children and teach them the beauty of the truth of Scripture. So how about we pray, Mr. Mike? How about we pray, boys and girls? Father, we ask that you would give us all the desire and the hunger to spend time with you in your word. We know this is why you died and rose again. This is why you forgave us of our sins so that we could come into your presence and open your beautiful word and spend time with you. And Lord, I pray also that you would give us the determination, if we don't understand something, to find somebody, bring those friends, those parents into our lives that we could talk to and ask questions about the Word of God. And Lord, I pray for the parents that are listening to, would you give them the urgency and the desire to bring their children to the feet of Jesus and as a family enjoy the beauty and the wonder of the truth of your scriptures. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. See you soon, King's World. Bye-bye. There is so much going on in the world right now, but we know God is always up to something good. So kids, let's stand to our feet. Moms and dads, join your kids and let's sing together.
for KW at home. Hey parents, we've included resources at thechapel.com slash kingsworld to help you continue conversation with your kids about what they learned today. 